channel is Sierra. So today I'm coming um, with, to you guys with like a little tutorial on how to turn an image into an SVG file using the Adobe Illustrator. I'm not sure I'm, pronounce, I'm pronouncing that correctly, but um, before we start this, um, you make sure you guys go and just Google Adobe Illustrator. It should be like a little A and an I symbol, um, yellow and black or gold and black. You'll see it and install that to your computer. Right now they're doing a seven day free trial, I believe. And if you like the software, you can in turn go and purchase it. I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but I know there is an option after your seven day trial is over to buy it. So, um, I had posted a picture on Facebook um, in a group called Black Girls Craft, and it was just an image that I got off Google. It was not my own image, and I just was practicing and so turning it into an SVG file. Now, um, as I say, I am learning as I go. Not saying the way I do the things are the correct way, but I did have some questions and comments and messages and things of that nature, just wanting to know how to do it. Because we see a lot of files being shared or some not being shared or some people not wanting to tell you where you got where they got the file from and you know what have you. So what I'm gonna do is try my best to walk you guys through it to show you the steps that I have take or had taken whichever um, to create the file that I used so I'm going to be turning a Betty Boop Im image that I got off of Google into a SVG file as you can see on the computer I have my software opened um, for a new document and I have it on art and illustration and I have it at 12 by 12 inches um, that may be too small or too big you can always go in and adjust the size by inches points millimeters centimeters or pixels you can just play with it and see which works best for you and with this one this works best for me and after I do that I just go down and I hit create and that has opened up me a whole new blank canvas pretty much to be able to open my image in. So I already have Betty saved on my computer. So I go to File, Open, and I type in Betty. She's like Betty Red, nice little red little dress. If you guys are familiar with Betty Boop. So there she is. She is on my software, in the software. And what I like to do is just kind of scale her down some. I don't like it to be just too big, um, but I want to be able to work with her and see what I'm doing. So once you have your image into your Illustrator, um, what you want to do next is go up to Window click on that under window you'll go down to image trace once you get on image trace you'll see a bunch of different options I haven't played with them all um, I only worked with the ones like the preset ones um, the view or the mode uh, and what we're going to do we're going to have her in color since she is and a red dress and gold earrings and everything like that and then you want to go under the preset they have a custom they have default high fidelity photo low fidelity photo you know a bunch of other ones you could choose from um, say you wanted to do something in a silhouette you click on silhouettes and there you are you have a silhouette of your image that's not what I'm going to use today but that's just giving you an idea on the different things that you can do. You can do shades of gray, depending on the image that you're doing. I don't like that one either. What I am going to use is 
high fidelity photo. So I just click on that and let it load, do its thing. And there she is. And as you can see, she's not as blurry as she was when I scaled her down. She looks so much cleaner and crisp. So that's what we're going to go with. After you do that, what you want to do is go to... So after we get our image traced, uh, we go to Object. Click on that. And you want to click on Expand. And you leave these checked. This is what you want us to do. And you just hit OK. That's basically just telling the program that you want to be able to scale your image up, scale it down, um, use it. You see how she lit up in blue, the blue little lines all around her. That's a good thing. That's a good sign. So next thing I do is I remove the background. I kind of want to make it transparent. You don't want to have this left on your image because once, once you're going to merge it into your software, um, whatever, it can be a Cameo or the circuit, whatever one you use, you don't want to take the background with you. You don't want this white background to go with the image. So what I do is I go up to View, and you want to go to Show Transparency Grid. And what they did was it made the background on the program transparent now. But as you can see, the round Betty boop sheet's still white, and we don't want that. So you can click off of your... So as I was saying, you don't want the background on your image to remain white. You want to get rid of that because you don't want to transfer that into your design software. So what I do is I click off of my image... I go and I select the direct selection tool and that is supposed to be so you can kind of select your background which it did as you can see it turned the little arrow white and the box over here the fill color box is white also so that's a good sign you want to see that in the arrow and you also want to see it in the box off to the left that way you know you're selecting the background and you're not selecting your image so once you have your background selected all you need to do is hit delete and as you can see that background is gone we don't have to worry about that being transferred into our design software because now she has a transparent background the next step would be to select your image once more. And you want to make sure you get the entire image. I know it's kind of hard to see, but she did. There's the blue lines around her. For the next step, make sure you select the entire image and you have the box around your image so you can make it into a compound path. And to make it into a compound path, you would need to hit Control, which is the CTRL key on your keyboard, and the number 8. You hit those two together. And what that does, it, make it a, makes it a compound path, so you'll be able to cut it and, you know, things like that. So, what I'm going to do now is hit Control and the number 8. which we don't want the black face. I don't know why I did that. As you can see, it traced her. There she is. She's traced. Okay, guys, so we don't want the black face. I don't know why I did that. I missed a step. Up here, as you can see, the little square is black. I just put that on none. You don't want to... Um, select your image. You just want to kind of click on where she's at. You don't want the blue lines around her when you're making it into a compound path. That was my mistake. Like I said, I'm still learning, but I hope you guys didn't. I didn't mess you up with that. But you do not want the box around her when you're hitting the control A key. Do not do that part. You just want to have her 
like she is how you can see her on my screen with a transparent background and then once you have her or your image um, with a transparent background your final step will be to hit the control 8 which you just hit them together like I was saying before and then you'll notice I'm able to move her and there she is you can see she traced after that you go up to file save as And then and when it says save as type, you go down and you scroll to SVG. And you hit save. I already had her on my computer, so I just hit yes, I want to replace it. And this option will come up. Is the type SVG. Um, not using system fonts or anything like that. You just hit OK. And your image is saved. So let me show you guys what it looks like when I merge it into my Silhouette software. Just open up that. Again, you go to File, Merge. I'll just type in Betty. And you can see she's already there. Click on Betty Red SVG. Hit OK. loading and there she is see no white background no any of that I'm able to enlarge her I'm able to make her small if I want and just like you're cutting a regular image you want to just flip her and just go to send I don't have my cameo Connected. Let me just do that really quickly to show you guys. I'm not going to cut it out today. Um, I can do that if someone would, you know, wants me to do that. Okay, so I connected my cameo. As you can see, the cut lines came up. There was no tracing involved. None of that. So if you want, you can always, like, this is a real file, you guys. Like, it really worked, and I was really shocked when I was able to do it. But, yeah, see, you can size her, make her bigger. If I wanted to, I can ungroup her if I wanted, and just, I'm sorry, yeah, ungroup. If I wanted to, the little boxes came up, I can take her dress and move it out to the side. If I wanted to cut that pe them pieces separately and make her dress the red color, um, I'm just going to put that back like that. I could remove that part of her. So yeah, like it's a real deal file. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm not going to leave her like that and fix her back how she was. But I'm just giving you an example on the ungrouping. You can take away the shoes. I'm not going to spend my you know, time trying to cut out those little pieces. But yeah, you can do that. And you'll be able to cut, her, cut your image out on vinyl. It's a SVG file. You can use it. So I hope that guy, that helped you guys. Let's just do a recap with it. Go to Google or Yahoo and save your image onto your computer. Download the Adobe Illustrator to your computer. Step three is to open your image into your software. Step four, you go to Window and you go down to Image Trace. You do that. Step five would be to go to Object and Expand It. Step six will go under View and hit the Show Transparency Grid. Of course, it's not going to show us that because we already did those steps. Step six would be to go to, I'm sorry, 
will be to um, do your control A key. And you hit those two together. Make sure you remove the background. Make sure it's a transparent background like you see here. Make sure you click away from your image when you, before you hit the control A key. Do not have your image lit up. Do not have the blue box around your image when you do that. And finally, once you hit your control A, test it out. You know, try to move her or move your image to the side. When you see the entire image traced like that and it moves with it, that is a great sign you have officially done your first SVG file. After that, you go to File at the top. You go under Save As. You want to save all of your images under SVG. Okay? Save them all under SVG. They give you different types, but you want to just save it under SVG, not SVG compressed, just regular SVG. And then you'll be able to merge it into your design software. I really hope that helped someone today. Um, I'm still rusty with these videos, but I want to get better and I'm going to be able to explain it a little bit better. Hopefully that helps. If you do have questions, please, please, please do not hesitate to write me on Facebook. I will leave all of my links in the description box. Do not hesitate to leave me a comment. If I don't see it right away, I'm probably working. I'll do work, two jobs, and I have four kids, and I have a stepson, and I have a boyfriend. I have a lot going on, but look, if I see it, I will respond. It just may take me a little while, but I will answer all questions that I can. I will make another video if you guys need more um, help or you want me to go over something in a little bit more in detail. I will do that for you. I appreciate you all. Thank you all for watching, subscribing, liking my work, just everything. I do appreciate every last one of you. Seriously. But on that note, you know what to do. Like it, comment, subscribe if you already haven't. Um, follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I'll leave everything down below. And I will see you guys next time.